Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing a brand new game. It's called Thizzle or Thizzles. Treasures Lost in Time. This is like an educational type experience and it uses hand tracking. Now the developer has kindly given me 10 keys to give away to you guys. So if you're watching this live in the premiere, there's going to be 10 keys dropped in the chat. So make sure you've got your Oculus app open ready to input the keys. Let's dive in. Okay, there's Bizarre. 1856 to whenever. Easy, medium or hard mode. Extreme mode, very hard. So this is like a tutorial look. The game's got a really unique art style. We've got like these wooden figures look. I can pick them up with my hands. And it looks like we're recreating scenes. Famous scenes. Okay, let's Thank begin. Fizzle, 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 fizzles, fizzles, they're bizarre. Okay, this looks uh, pretty cool actually. I feel a bit low down, I feel like I should be uh, higher up. So is this a seated game? And do I need to reset my, my boundaries and my height? Okay, let me grab my chair. Okay, that's better. I'm sat down and I feel like I'm the right height now. Okay, we're going for easy mode. Okay, this is quite interesting. In front of me is this box um, with these um, wooden pieces in them. It's a 3D box. It looks really, really cool, actually. That chandelier looks amazing. It's really cool to see my hands as well. Now don't forget, I'm dropping 10 keys for this game in my live chat. Okay, so we need to place objects like we see in the picture. The uh, hand controls are really responsive this time. Normally I complain about games that use hand tracking because um, I don't feel like the hand tracking is quite there yet. This feels a lot more responsive. Okay, that one goes on to... That one goes on there somewhere. There we go. One's in place. Let's find this lady here with the hat and the uh, shotgun. Is that a shotgun? Or is it an umbrella? She's facing that way. She's behind. Oh, there's little dots on the floor where you can put the... Uh, put the objects. So these are like cardboard cutouts. I'm really impressed with the hand tracking here. I have never been a fan previously of hand tracking games. That looks like a little... That thing there, look, that goes behind the ladies there. Um, the couch goes there. Um, the lady in the uh, rocking chair goes in front of the couch. We need to make sure we put them the correct way round. There's a chair missing. Where's that chair? There's a chair missing there, look. Is that hiding behind there? Anyway, let me put this lady here. Uh, this lady goes there. Mary Poppins. We have an old oil lamp which goes there. And uh, this is like an old fashioned basket 
This is more of a relaxing, chill out type of game and it's got lots of uh, educational uses. I can see this being used in school to teach children. Okay, so there's a chair missing there. How do I... Where's that chair gone? I seem to be missing a piece. I'm confused. Uh, what's this do? That's reset the whole... That's reset the whole thing. Okay, I've reset the scene. Hopefully there's no parts missing. That goes at the back. And that goes in the front. There's a picture there of the queen or some sort of queen. That goes on the back wall. I was not expecting the uh, candelier to move. That's pretty cool. I can twist it around and everything. That piece goes there. There's a lady in the back. She goes there. Okay, that goes there. Uh, there's an old brazen thing here. Goes in front of the lady. There's a chair in the back. Is it this chair? During the editing of this video, I'm going to have to go back to see if a part was missing or was it hiding behind another piece. That's the only explanation really. Oh, this is uh, interesting. So there's a piece that goes on the table. I do believe this goes in the... That's stuck to my hand. That does not go there, that goes there. So that piece goes in the front here. There's a chair in the back. This one. Okay, I need to turn it round. So they won't fit if they are the wrong way round. Hopefully we have all the pieces this time. She goes there, she's looking this way. Old Victorian lady look. Uh, this is her best friend with the, the more colorful dress on. She's the rich lady, uh, she's the poor lady. Okay, one piece left, where does that go? There. Turn it round. Job done. Okay, oh that's cool. So there's the rich lady and the uh, poor lady mingling. There's the chandelier moving when I pushed it. Oh, what happened there? Loads of things have fell down. Excuse me, do you mind? Keep out of my uh, space, please. She the lady with the shotgun. No, it's a stick. It's like a hoe. So these are moving around in the uh, in the play spaces, like pictures that's fallen on the floor. I can pick these up. The hand tracking is perfect. It works really, really well. There's some information here on the uh, game itself. Look. Fizzles or fizzle, 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 fizzle. Treasures lost in time. 
In the second half of the 19th century, a new type of media emerged in Europe due to technological progress in printing, communication and transportation. Magazines about fashion, lifestyle and DIY. One of them was Der Bizarre, from which the props in this game are taken from. Uh, excuse me, stay back. YouTuber recording in progress. Stop pushing all the things around. I'm trying to read, do you mind? So I'm now in like a full life size type scenario. These are still like wooden characters. That's really cool to see them um, life sized. Okay, so these are the developers of the game. Hi, we are Frank and George. We made this game and called it Thizzles to confuse YouTubers how to pronounce it. Combining the words theatre and puzzle. Okay, so Thuzzles. Thuzzles. Got it. Thuzzles. It started as an idea at a hackathon and the initial prototype development has been supported by and stiffened from. Um, I can't pronounce that. After playing the first prototypes, we had so much fun that we founded Horlitz and Wolf to produce the game. So a big thank you to the developers for making this game, for supplying me with a key for the game to try, and also 10 keys to give away to you guys. Let's hit the big red button and let's see what happens. Fuzzles. Okay, let me go back to the main menu. I think we have like different scenarios. So that's the bizarre. Die fishy. Fuzzles. Okay, this is cool. I'm underwater now. There's like a giant shell in front of me, a 3D shell. Okay, we're going for level two this time. Medium. Okay, we have to match the fish now. Okay, that's got something sticking out its mouth. Does that go there? There we go. Okay, that's like a pike. So these types of games are really good for like your memory. For sharpening your memory, that sort of thing. Let's go for the big place here. That's going to be an easy one to put into place. Put the place into place to get it. And there's like a flat fish there. Grab the flat fish. Where's Nemo? Okay, goldfish. Okay, we're doing well. So far, so good. Let's go for the uh, snake, the eel. I'm trying to pick the uh, weird shaped fish to match. That one's quite flat. Look, that goes there. Another eel. That did not go into place right. It moved. There's one here, like a shark with a strange tail. That one there. Just like a dog shark. Okay, that works. Long and slender. I'm a bit concerned about this fish here that's um, not quite in place. Where does that one go? There. No. Maybe it's a red herring. <laughs> I think that one goes there. What's that on the floor? What have I dropped? Hold on, there's something on the floor, I can't grab it. Uh. What is that?
I don't know what that is on the floor. Okay, that goes in there, I think. We certainly have some red herrings here. That goes with the back there. That one's got three fins on the top. There we go. That's a small that goes in there. That goes there. Strange weird one goes in there. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four left, then we've got five fish. So that is a red herring. Okay, is that like a pike? Okay, these two left. And this one goes there. No. Oh, it's this one. So we have two red herrings. We did it. Oh, I've got fish in the face. They are swimming around merrily, merrily, merrily. I don't know what that piece was on the floor. Developers, if you could tell me what that piece was on the floor, much appreciated. I've got like these weird bubbles as well floating in front of me. I'm going to have a look at um, one more puzzle on hard mode, just to see what um, what it's all about really. Look at the, uh, the place swimming around in front of me. Just got attacked by a shark. Tussles. Everything feels really instinctive. So we have Dear Bizarre, Die Fishy, Butterflies, Their Schmidt Tinglings or something. Okay, so we've got three levels. So let me try the butterflies Tussles. and I'm just going to have a look at hard mode. So the butterfly mode, we've got three levels. Well, level three doesn't look too hard. But then again, I guess you need to know your butterflies. Why has this got three hard levels if it's pretty easy? Come here. I definitely can see the educational use to this. Come here, moth. Can't grab it. Come here. Oh, there's one on my hand. That's so cool. So if you've ever played First Contact on the Quest, that's the one with the robot. You do get these digital butterflies that land on your hand. These butterflies are landing on my hand. This is so cool. That's a really cool addition to the game. I want the moth. Okay, you go in there, Mr. Moth. Two left. Uh, one left. This guy here, the, uh, is it the owl moth or something? Nope. You go in there. Nope. We need to find the right butterfly. There we go. Easy peasy. So level three was not too hard. Now that looks more like level three, this amount of butterflies. I'm curious, let me just see. Level one look has a lot more butterflies. Level two. I don't understand why this is so difficult because this feels like it's on easy mode. Maybe the, um, maybe it's a bug in the game. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
please leave a like and subscribe be sure to my little bell i'll see you in the next one i do believe we've got like different butterflies now as well so every time we play a new level it's randomized pretty cool really come on guys land on my finger shoo shoo if you're into vr gaming go and subscribe to paradise decay he's been like he's the ogs of vr gaming okay it's funny as i was walking from the the, the train station i bumped into paradise decay who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like you know a huge part of the community and uh, Doc, dr oculus they were kind of lost walking around and i went up to approach him <laughs> And Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, but I actually just went. In, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it, Nathy. <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Three, ready. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That <laughs> <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade, Nathan's on fire, he just got roasted by <laughs> Might want to um, there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, i got to say, he's, he's, really? his eyes have been no, fixed. He should be alright now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the oh, off track. Bully. PD, I saw I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> <were you?" laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, so he, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> Sorry, for that. Jack. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>